Hello AGKers. I'd like to show you some bits of hardware that's landed on my desk recently. We have the Screen Beam Pro device and we have something from Netgear which does much the same thing. And uh, basically they're both certified uh, mirror cast devices and what that means is you can actually achieve wireless display. So you've had Wi-Fi getting your network over the air onto your portable devices. Now you can actually send your display through the air. And providing you have one of these little devices, which comes in the form of a little black box, an HDMI cable at one end, and a USB cable at the other to charge it, that's all you need. Oh, you also need one of these. It's a device that would allow you to transmit. Not all devices allow you to do it, but this one does. It's a K900 uh, X86 Intel powered Android device, pretty meaty, meaty on performance. And all you're going to do is run the application of your choice, press mirror screen, screen mirror, and then actually transmits it to that little black box which then shows it on the massive monitor. And you know, unless you actually start getting uh, console development kits and things like that, you're never going to get to that big screen. This is the first time that I have been able to create something in AGK, in this particular case, and then press a button and play it on the big screen. And it's a, it's a pretty cool experience. So I'm not going to rabbit on too much about it. Better I'm going to demonstrate it with a couple of AGK apps so you can see what I'm talking about. So let's do that. Okay, so I've just switched on the device. I plugged the USB cable into the computer and I've just switched the TV over to the HDMI input. And so obviously the box is working because you can see on the screen ready for connection, launch wireless display on your phone, tablet or PC. Now I've just this second booted up this device and unless I miss my guess we should just be able to go into settings and then switch it on. So settings what would we look for? Feature settings. All settings. That's a bit better. Display. Wireless display. Um, it's found push to TV, which is what that particular device is. It says connecting. So if you can see the screen, you can see the phone. Might be a bit too bright. <laughs> but you should be able to see the phone now. So that's what I'm seeing on the screen. But you can actually see it on the big television. So I'll just come out of all that. Because you'd like to see you can see it there, yes. But I prefer um, landscape. So let's pick something like... Uh, this is an app I created at the start of the year. Called uh, Hazard Perception. Basically in jolly old England we have to do a series of tests before we go crazy on the roads. One of them is to spot hazards on a video and then say when they're actually going to happen. Um, done quite well for us. Uh, AGK developers might be interested to know that this actually shoots to number one in our UK charts. So AGK makes good. Um, and as you can see, I can run the introduction which tells me about it. I can run practice. I can scroll through. Now, it's, it's a pity that you're watching it in this video. I mean, you really want that in a huge screen. Uh, I've got another screen in the other room that's even bigger, and it's an awesome experience. Because look what I'm doing. It's actually like um, a remote control. So I can control the app from the comfort of my armchair, but I'm actually getting to see it on a really large screen. Um, so I can choose another video. Play that. I can come out of this, go into progress. See how well I'm doing across all the different ones. I can go into extras and find out help and information. But I get to see it on a really large screen. And there you go. And I'm actually getting that large screen experience, which is awesome. This is a game I just downloaded like 20 minutes ago. Just typed out on Google. AGK apps on Google Play. And this one popped up. So... I'm taking a huge risk. This is a live video. You're going to get one video recording with me. Uh, it's called um, 
neon bunny bun, bun, <laughs> neon bunnies say that three times and here we go start now I guess the idea is you now AGK fans this is using box 2D physics using all the clever stuff that you find in AGK fast rendering um, I love physics and of course I guess the idea is you're going to get the neon bunny to, uh, to hit the stars and the stars disappear but I don't really know when I run out of energy what am I supposed to do? start again? probably but yeah I actually read a little bit on the forums and this these take a little while to master these levels there's, there's not really a easy gentle learning curve on this um, but there are some tutorials in the game I don't want to diss the developer really nice put together app so I invite you to check it out it's called uh, Neon Bunnies it's on Google Google Play there you go I can restart and I guess maybe just stretch that way yeah there you go I'm getting the hang of it so we can come out of this I think quick yep and then back to the desktop so you're getting the idea you can write something in AGK test it on your mobile or your tablets or your Mac or your PC or whatever other devices are supporting uh, and then I think the magic is actually then transmit it to a large screen and then you can play it on that large screen now obviously there's some things uh, that I've observed um, I've not really got involved in this whole thing I'd like to but I'm a bit preoccupied developing other things at the moment but one thing I noticed is you don't really want to be looking down if I just unplug it thank you you don't really want to look down at the device when you're playing the game you actually want to be up there looking at the big screen and it's a pity actually the desktop doesn't rotate sideways so you can actually play with all these icons in landscape maybe that's something to suggest for the future uh, Android OS's and so any apps that you create, create them in landscape um, you can control the game like this but you kinda want the user to look at the big screen so imagine it's a tactile only control interface you can see the screen but you don't have to look at it to actually do all the game controls if you can create an application like that it would be perfect for this kind of technology and a little insider uh, suspicion of mine this technology is not going anywhere it's going to get bigger and it's going to get faster and before you know it everybody oh <laughs> look at this everybody is actually going to be having this built into their home it'll be a daily thing what you're actually looking at now is I've accidentally pressed the camera so now my phone's taking a picture of the camera and the camera's been sent by screen mirroring to the big screen and then you can see it like that it's a pity we can't get it in landscape actually yeah maybe there's if I press that button no okay as you can see we're really just playing around cutting edge technology this so that's really my suggestion for uh, any AGK developers out there who've got a spare few minutes think up ideas where you can actually play on the big screen use the device as a, a tactile remote you can still look down and look at it for sort of visual cues but think of it as a sophisticated live screen remote but you're playing on the big screen if we see a few AGK apps like that um, I'll actually make another video and then advertise it for you but I just think it's just a fun factor grab yourself some of this tech um, a lot of modern Android phones now have screen mirroring it's just part of the package with a new phone these little boxes probably cost about 40 quid, 50 dollars, something like that so those are easy to pick up um, you know pick up a new one so it supports all the latest drivers because the worst thing is you've got your device and you've got your box and they don't talk to each other um, have a look for Miracast, that's the sort of name you can look out for and providing both devices do it you'll be fine I've got this one which is a K900 my Samsung S4 also does screen casting and I managed to get that working fine on it it's complaining about power because running the camera all the time it's draining it but that's fine I actually had it on about 8% anyway <laughs> okay so that's really just uh, what I wanted to say that there's an opportunity here for AGK users to create some apps specifically for that use scenario that I just demonstrated 
Um, so yeah, I hope uh, if you do create something along those lines, definitely send me an e email. It's Lee at the game creators com, and I'll I'll blog it for you because I'm looking forward to playing a few experiences like that. So until then, thanks for your attention, and I'll see you again. Bye.